You must be looking forward to this one, Nathan. It's been a long time coming, and obviously the guys tried to get under your skin. Tell me how you think the fight's going to go. I'm looking forward to it, and I think it's going to be an exciting fight while it lasts. Um, and I think, you know, I'm going to win with a KO victory, basically. What do you What do you expect from him? You've seen him fight before. How do you assess his his, his game and how he kind of deals with uh, his opponents? Yeah, he's he's got the reputation as a dangerous fighter because of his apparently he's, you know he's a big puncher. Obviously, I've got to find out for myself on fight night. Um, but I've really got no issues with that. Um, mo most fighters in a light heavyweight division have you know are strong punchers. Um, in his last fight, he showed you know decent boxing skills. He won comfortably. So yeah, you know he, he could potentially pose me a few problems, but I've got to. Out overcome that and uh, that's what world champions do and I, I, I will do that. Is there any uh, aspect of him getting under your skin you found particularly unsavoury? I mean the last time that you guys were together in a press conference it got quite heated. Yeah, um, no not, not really, you know he's a, he's a, he's a different character obviously, um, he goes about his work in different ways. But, you know, obviously at the, at the last press conference it kind of got heated and that built up this fight really. You know, people are looking forward to it now. But, uh, you know, I enjoyed that as well. I enjoyed that rivalry. It was, it was kind of, it kind of helped me get my focus on, on the fight and uh, I really enjoyed that. Does he deserve the shot? In all truthfulness, no, but he's got the shot because of the press conference and a rivalry. Um, so he doesn't deserve it, but he's got it, and uh, he's got it sooner rather than later. And he's, um, you know, he's got, he's got, he's got to pay for, for obviously opening his mouth and you know and and, and talking his way into trouble. And I'm going to make him pay for that. Beyond Bellew, is there any other domestic fighter you kind of look at and think, yeah, one day me and him will get it on, and he will definitely become a mandatory. No, not really. I can't see. I, I think this is the last fight, really, yeah, for Andy yeah. Shaw's for you. I think so. I think so. I think Tony Bellew is the only obstacle now in the way in Britain, and then we can go on for the for the big guys. Then uh, you know. And the Who for you is, is is like a legend in your weight division and and somebody you aspire to be like? We talked a lot about Kazaki, but who else from you know around the world maybe? Yeah, you obviously got Joe uh, Joe Kazaki. He's obviously. Um, a massive inspiration, but around the world, then you've got Bernard Hopkins, who's a living legend now, who's still fighting, still getting better. Um, and that's a yeah, and, and, and that's a potential fight that, provided I get through this and, and win well, that's a fight that's going to be set up. You reckon you're going to go then in history? Going to be uh, one of those names that you people are calling up in the future? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think I can't see no reason why not. As long as I keep keep the W's, keep the wins, then. Uh, you know, that's always uh, a possibility. Good luck with that. Thanks, man. All right. Thank you.